Okay, uh, welcome back everybody. This is another one of the uh, updates from the uh, workbench on at the John 1911 Armory. This is a Cobra M11 semi-automatic uh, pistol and uh, it, it's a copy of what we used to call a Mac 10 or Mac 11. I think that this is called M11. So this is a nine millimeter. Uh, we did some, we did a video test with this, with our outside video uh, team uh, earlier this summer. And the gun ran, but it occurred to me that the gun really hadn't been serviced or gone over probably since it was new. So we went ahead and, and ordered the parts and did some upgrades. So if you're interested in these guns, not that I know a lot about these things, I think they're kind of cheap guns, but it's it's worth having in the in the collection. So what we did is we uh, ordered, we resprung re the gun, we totally resprung it. We also upgraded the charging handle up the top. I would call that Uzi style because the original the original charging handle was so low, you had a hard time working it. This actually greatly improves and it's relieved so you can uh, shoot through the iron sights. Um, there is a buffer in the back of the system. The buffer's back here. And the original buffer, when we cracked open the gun and looked at it, was it was so degraded and, and destroyed it had actually turned into slime and worked its way through the bolt carrier into the firing pin channel. And it's, a, I don't know how the gun even ran. So we, we, there's two types of buffers you can get for these. There is a pre-cut one for the, uh, for the uh, recoil spring. And then there's uh, one where you kind of have to thread it through. The difference is if you are planning on changing a recoil spring anyway, you could get the more tightly fit for one where you have to thread it through because you're going to have to use a, a roll pin to, 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 to get the recoil spring onto the rod to, uh, to, to change the spring on the gun. And if you got to do that, it's easy to put the new, the, the original style buffer on the gun. Some people don't want to do that. So they saw a second buffer for people that don't want to upgrade the, 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 the you know, deal with the roll pin, but they want to upgrade the buffer. So, uh, we went ahead and ordered both to take a look at them and, and when, and we just went ahead and, and used that newer buffer anyway. So also we only have one magazine and this is an original Cobra mag and we actually, uh, put another, uh, spring in this as well. So we're going to go ahead and see if this runs. I tried to lube it up a little bit. This is a basic function test and we'll see how it goes and let's see if this works. Go ahead. All right. One malfunction, 25 rounds. Um, I don't think Chuck Norris could have expected any better than that. So I'm going to declare this gun finished. We'll clean it up, hang it up in the armory, uh, log the rounds and uh, move on to other projects. So trying to get a bunch of stuff done. If you want to see any more stories or pictures or links of anything we discussed, including old crappy guns from my childhood 80s, please go to their website at john1911.com. That's J-O-H-N-1911.com. Where it's all about shooting guns and having fun, everybody. Have a good day.